Well, this week marks two years since the end of America's longest war, and it was during that chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan when 13 U.S. service members and dozens of civilians as well were killed by a bombing outside of the Kabul airport. Well, now a veteran-led nonprofit organization called Project Dynamo is actively working to evacuate 21 Americans who are still stuck in Afghanistan, the country now firmly in control of the Taliban. And joining us now is the founder and CEO of that organization, Brian Stern. Brian, thank you so much for your work and for being here. All right, thanks for having me. Brian, I think a lot of Americans would be surprised to hear that there are 21 people still left behind. What can you tell us about that? And can you share any progress? Yeah, the, the details of these operations, we obviously keep close held, but um, it's telling that that you know, two years, two years later, there's still people. There's still people stuck. Uh, almost always, this is an administrative issue regarding a visa for a child. Almost always, and um, and mothers and fathers don't want to leave their children behind. So, uh, in your last piece, we talked. Uh, you were talking about work authorization for asylum seekers and the need to get that expedited. Whether that's right, wrong, or indifferent. Uh, we have children of American citizens that are stuck in Afghanistan that can't get visas out of the country because they've been there so long. So uh, I would ask kind of the same thing is we we need those visas expedited as well and travel authorization as well. As you know, there's no embassy in Afghanistan. So this makes it very, very, very difficult. Can you what can you tell us about your organization? And, and can you explain to us how dangerous this mission is with the Taliban in control? Uh, so Project Dynamo, like many veteran organizations, stood up uh, uh, about two years ago, uh, two years and two weeks ago, during the fall of Afghanistan, the, the failed withdrawal. Uh, we saw it on TV. Some people wrote a check. Some people made phone calls. We packed our stuff and went forward and, and have been pulling people out of, uh, out, of, uh, out of Afghanistan ever since. Since then, we've expanded into uh, hostage rescues and uh, places like Russia, Ukraine, Sudan, wherever the government doesn't have a presence is the best way to think about us. Uh, we've rescued just under 6,500 people in 24 short months. So the numbers are pretty staggering, and we do the operations ourselves. Uh, with respect to the danger on the ground in Afghanistan, um, it's significant. Uh, we, I don't want to get too deep into how we do things, but but um, the Taliban, um, the Taliban um, are not friends of America. They never have been, and probably never will be. So, if you're an American citizen and you're in Afghanistan, you are you are truly behind enemy lines and in peril, for sure. Has the U.S. government provided any help in getting uh, those Americans out of Afghanistan? Uh, I only know what we know. We are entirely donor funded. Projectdynamo.org is where you can go to uh, register to, to, to help us. We are entirely donor funded. Um, uh, and we receive absolutely nothing from the from the government or any government whatsoever uh, in our 591 operations that we've done in 24 months and 6,500 people. So um, th these things do cost money. Planes do not fly themselves. Helicopters do not fly themselves. Uh, the, uh, uh, trade craft and safe houses and medicine and those things all cost money. So we need public support and we do not get any help or, or even, frankly, recognition from the government. We don't even get a thank you note. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, this week marks the anniversary of, of that chaotic withdrawal. And of course, 13 U.S. service members died there. Um, and, and just now we are seeing some of the Gold Star family members who are still seeking answers about what happened. They are calling for more transparency from the Pentagon. What message do you have to share with them this week? My message is, is I'm sorry. On, on behalf of every every American and every service member, uh, we honor the, their sacrifice. They, they lost their sons and daughters, which is always terrible, no matter what the circumstance. It doesn't really matter uh, to a Gold Star family, and we do a lot of work with Gold Star moms. Um, it doesn't matter if they, if they died at Abbey Gate or if they died uh, in, a, in a canoe in Pakistan. It doesn't really matter. Their loss is real. Mm -hmm. So I would say our thoughts and prayers are with you and we're very sorry. And that um, this shouldn't have happened. Uh, the, the way this ev evacuation and the withdrawal went was um, was was not executed properly from, from soup to nuts. And the, the brave men and women that stood the wall did the best they could. We were, we were, we were in the field as well. And uh, it was a very bad situation. And these brave men and women stood the wall trying to do the best that they can with a very terrible, uh, terrible hand dealt to them. But they should not feel that their sons and daughters died in vain. 
um, uh, that, that's not, uh, you know, that, that's a terrible way to think about their memory. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.